Hey folks, I'm Jennifer Lau. I'm a master gardener here at English Gardens in Royal Oak, Michigan. Today, I'd like you to feel more comfortable with the rubber plant. It's always been popular, you know, probably starts with the obvious, the color, the big glossy leaves, but there are questions that people have with these. So let's clear things up a little bit. The rubber plant comes from South America and similar areas. Think bright light, but it grows in some forested areas. So don't put it outside in the direct sun. It leaves, you know, can actually burn. But if it's too low light, you'll see it start to get a little spindly. I do think people tend to overwater these sometimes. It wants to go a little dry. In fact, let it dry halfway down before watering. Water it well till some water comes out the bottom and then leave it alone until the next time. It just doesn't want to be constantly wet throughout. Now, remember me saying that it comes from forested areas? Well, guess what it feels like in our homes once it gets cold and the furnace has been on for a couple of months? It doesn't feel much like a forest, does it? So, give it a good misting then, maybe every week. Most importantly, remember to keep it away from the furnace vents. A forest plant will definitely get stressed out there. And when a plant is stressed out, that's when insects come, by the way. So we're just going to avoid all that. Give it good balanced nutrition while it's actively growing, maybe once a month during spring through summer. Here we go. Bright light, let it dry halfway down before watering, and give it the humidity it gets in the forest. This really is an easy little plant that you'll have for years. You can do this. Try the rubber plant. Go and make life beautiful.